A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from. Enough about how awesome you are, back to the video. Welcome back. So this episode is going to be aimed at both people that are coming from other engines such as Unity because of their current situation towards Unreal Engine uh, and also for other people that are not coming from a different engine but just want to start learning Unreal Engine in general. So in this video I will be going through a lot of really great assets because it might be difficult to find like where do you find the different things. So having been around the Unreal Engine atmosphere for quite a while I have a fairly good idea of where you can get uh, the most important things for you to get going in, in your learning. So. First of all, what I want to show off is uh, the Epic Marketplace uh, launcher. Inside of this one, if you go to Marketplace, you have a bunch of different tabs under free. Uh, all of these are categories that are available to you for free that you can make use of using the Unreal Engine. Um, so you have Megascans, which is Quixel Megascans. It's a huge library of uh, photo quality scans uh, so that's really great and that's integrated into the engine we'll take a close look at that uh, in a little bit other than that you also have some categories epic games content this is stuff that epic games have created and have released so for example um, they have uh, mannequins packs and some twin motion stuff and yeah all kinds of different things here so you have like you can, you can see that you have a lot of pages here for different results so this is epic created or epic funded uh, assets. In addition to that you have the UE online learning. So these are projects that are specifically meant to either showcase or uh, allow you to dissect different parts of the engine uh, for some example projects. So you have uh, the UI material lab here which shows off a bunch of the, the widget and material side of uh, Unreal Engine. Uh, you have this uh, 2D project over here. You have a environment project here in the form of Northwood, a western project and so on. So you have a bunch of different uh, asset projects here as well. Uh, some really good ones to keep an, an eye out for is something called uh, I believe it's called crop out. I can't see it right now. Uh, it should be here anyway. And then, yeah, they, they just look through this list. There, there's a bunch of great ones here. Uh, in addition to that, you also have the free for the month. This will rotate every month. So uh, approximately five assets will be added each month in different categories. So environments, uh, architecture, visualization, blueprints, plugins, uh, and such. They, there's usually like one in each category. Uh, so you can find all of those in the free for the month uh, each month. And these rotate every first Tuesday of every month. So make sure to get your free assets before then if there's something that interests you. Then you have the permanently free collection. This collection is not added as often as the, the monthly free one, but the assets that are added to this list are, however, uh, staying free forever. So you don't have to get them within the, a lot of the time, like the free for the month one. So this one also, you can see, we have a bunch of different assets here available for you to peruse. And lastly, we have a marketplace collection. And I do believe that all of these are uh, assets that have been um, funded by Epic to some third party creator for them to create these assets for the marketplace. So again, uh, there's a bunch of different ones here that are really nice looking and not, not as many as the other categories, but they should be pretty good as well. And you can also see here that we start to get into the Paragon assets. And if you search for Paragon, you'll find a bunch of different characters and some environment assets as well. These are all from the, the game that Epic was creating called Paragon, which they disbanded and now all of their assets that they created are available for you to use as well. So that's the marketplace in a nutshell. Uh, let's take a look at some really great parts of um, the Epic atmosphere or universe where you can learn from different resources. I'm going to be starting off with the Unreal Engine Epic Hub or whatever you want to call it. It's the, the dev community that's available for Unreal Engine. Uh, I'll also be going through some different channels and such that are really great for different aspects um, after this. But this is, I think, one of the central parts that you want to get acquainted with if you want to start learning Unreal Engine because there is a lot of 
value and free knowledge available for you here. Before I go too far, um, some people tend to ask you if you're supposed to buy a Udemy course or something like that if you want to start get learning. I would say no, definitely do not do that, even if they are like highly discounted and stuff like that. Um, make sure that you start to get some appreciation of understanding the Unreal Engine um, from free assets or free courses and tutorials first. Uh, that way you can get sort of a clearer understanding of what it is that you want to learn so you spend your money on something that will actually help you. Uh, throwing money at a Udemy course is not going to give you any more value than a lot of the free stuff that is available to you uh, for most cases. Um, and that goes even with the highly acclaimed ones because if you get a course that has a prerequisite you don't have yet or something like that you will not get the, the total knowledge value out of it. Anyway, uh, back to this uh, hub here. So this, this dev community that we have available to us here, I will leave the links to all of the things I go through in this video also in the description so you can make sure to find them. Uh, this dev community has a bunch of different uh, forum categories where you can ask questions, read about others' questions, help people out and stuff like that. But when it comes to learning, you have this learning tab over here, which is probably the most useful one. Uh, in here, you can find a bunch of different uh, tutorials, and they will be made either by Epic or by the community itself. You can also find courses, and you can find learning paths. So starting off, we have some filters here that are really useful to finding things. So you can see that we have a category here for Epic. So all of these things here are for Epic. So you have 227 Epic uh, backed tutorials. These are usually very high quality and very, very knowledgeable because well, they are working with the engine that they create, right? So these are usually the, the people that are top notch within their field. So these are great uh, if you can find something here that you're interested in. Going to courses, you can see that, sorry, that was my phone, not yours. Uh, you can see some uh, different courses. If you go into one of these, you can see like uh, the, the there's videos available to you and you can watch through them some of them they're varying in length this is a uh, concerning the crop out that I mentioned earlier which is a RTS um, sample product that is available uh, and also we want to uncheck the tutorials so here is actual courses so if we go in here first hour in epic you can see you get some description of what this is all about and what you will learn and who, who is holding this. This happened to be one of the cherished people in the Unreal Engine community. We will be talking a little bit about his channel a little bit later, but for now, you can see the, the table of contents over here. So you have different categories here. There will be different videos connected to each of these different chapters that go through different parts of your learning curve. And you can see that they're usually structured in such a way that they are cohesive and holds together a certain topic uh, all at once. Um, going back a little bit, uh, other than courses, you also have something that I mentioned earlier, which is learning paths. Learning paths are generally uh, a grouping of courses uh, or videos that also in a cohesive manner teaching something. Uh, so begin play is sort of going through how um, all the different parts of, uh, well, for example, blueprints are being called. So you can see when events are being called, in what order different objects are being built and called on and such things. So you get a better understanding of the sequence of different parts. Very uh, highly recommended series to look through to get a better understanding for such things. Uh, you also have other things here. Welcome to Unreal Engine here is one that's probably pretty good. It goes through some of the doc documentation telling you how that works. It goes through how you install the engine. There are some content examples and such that it goes through and you have a guided tour. You go through Nanite and Lumen and other aspects like that that are like the important uh, Unreal Engine 5 flagship uh, technologies that are of interest. So very good to go through. Uh, so generally here, you have a lot of stuff that you can go through and, and uh, divest in energy into and, and learn the different parts that interests you. So there, there's some that are um, directed towards game developments. There are others that are directed towards creating uh, environments. There are uh, film and there are bunch of other ones as well. I, I'm failing to recollect them right now. But anyway, you should be able to find plenty of stuff that you want here. 
In addition to that, you also have the community tab here. So you have tutorials here and you can see that this number is much, much larger than this one. So you can find some tutorials here and these will be hit and miss. Some will be great and some will be less great. Uh, it all depends on uh, who has done them and sorry, like that, and, and uh, what the topic is about and how knowledgeable the, they are about the topic. But uh, here you have the ability to possibly find some, some good ones. Um, and again, this will be hit and miss depending on, on uh, uh, the person that's holding these tutorials. But uh, great stuff to find. Other than that, you can find the categories here for the industries. These were the ones that I was failing earlier. And then you have some categories here if you want to filter on that as well. So you should be have, having a lot of filters here to find, even in different languages, something that fits what you're lo looking for. Yes, okay, moving on. Next up, we have the documentation that Unreal Engine has provided uh, for Unity users that want to start learning Unreal Engine. Uh, so this is mainly uh, for those of you that are actually making this transition, this document, again, will be in the description down below. Uh, try to explain the similarities and differences between Unity and Unreal Engine so you can get a sort of understanding how that works. Um, there are some things that are very similar, like how prefabs can be like blueprint actors, uh, but there are also a bunch of different uh, differences lots of different differences about, for example, how you structure different objects in Unreal Engine as opposed to Unity. And all of this you can find inside of this documentation here to get some sort of understanding of that. So uh, I recommend this as well as a good read to see the differences of how it works. So if you're uh, coming from the Unity Engine, you are not completely lost from that aspect. Next up, we have something in a similar vein from impromptugames.com. Uh, it is sort of a FAQ of some, some different questions for a Unity uh, user that might want to uh, start using Unreal Engine. Uh, here you can find, hopefully, the answers to the questions that you might be brooding over. And yeah, maybe this will give you a sort of foundation to make your decision on if Unreal Engine is the right choice or not for you, or if another engine altogether might be a better fit. Anyway, this uh, link will be in the description down below as well if you want to check that out. Next up for you, I have Clint Jones, which is a uh, character that has previously been associated with a visual effects studio called uh, Corridor. Uh, he is still working with them uh, from time to time. Uh, he's a very funny guy and he's really good at what he's doing. Uh, and recently he has started to do, to do uh, some Unreal Engine related things, among others this video. So uh, he is really good at explaining how you can like create environments and showing you the full workflow of how he achieves different uh, scenes. So I'll be leaving a link uh, to his YouTube channel and this video as well in the description if this is the area that you want to improve upon and learn. Next up, we have William Faucher. And this character, he is very intimately knowledgeable uh, concerning lights and lighting. So if lighting is something that you want to improve or know more about, then his channel is for sure one that you want to check in on. Uh, you can probably learn a lot from this guy if lighting is something that you need to improve upon further. Uh, again, links will be in the description to this guy as well. Next up, we have a crash course. This is one that's created by me. It's an over five hour long video that goes through the basics, how you interact with the engine, showing you how to create your first project, uh, going through a lot of different tools and setting up different environments, just touching on a whole bunch of the different features that are available in Unreal, Unreal Engine so you can hit the ground running. I will leave a link in the description as well if that is of interest to you. Next up we have Matthew Wadstein. Uh, Wadstein's tutorials are essentially what you could look as an encyclopedia for the different uh, nodes in Unreal Engine. Whenever you have a node and you don't really know what does it do or how can you make use of it, just go to this channel and search for it and you'll probably find something on it. He has, up until recently, so two years, maybe not that recent, but he has gone through pretty much all of the different nodes that exist 
and also a bunch of other different aspects of the engine as well. So this is a gold mine. I would highly recommend you check out this channel uh, or all of the things that I've mentioned so far, you might want to make a note of so you can come back to them later because this one for sure will be something that you will have need of or use of in the future. So again, links will be down in the description. So that's going to be it. Um, this is what I think are the greatest resources for someone starting out. Uh, there are some other channels that might be good. There are a bunch of different channels that are really bad, but all of these things that I've mentioned so far are truly great content that you can learn a lot from starting out. Um, when it comes to just how do you proceed from there, I would suggest that you try and find tutorials on the topics that uh, you're currently struggling with or that you want to learn more about. Uh, and af at this point, if you have garnered enough information that you understand the engine enough to know what exactly you're after, this might be the time when it's worth putting some money uh, into a paid course. Also make sure that uh, don't pay full price. Most of these courses, they have this uh, FOMO going on. So fear, fear of missing out. They're essentially uh, showing higher prices or they're showing lower prices that are soon expiring and stuff like that. They're almost always uh, discounted. So if you're having trouble uh, finding a course that's discounted, try incognito mode on a browser and see if uh, it is available for you uh, at a discount that way. Anyway, I hope this has been useful both to Unity developers that want to make the switch to Unreal Engine, as well as people that just want to learn Unreal Engine and are just starting out. Uh, keep on learning. Take care. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.